hello everyone and welcome back to another video so today i have the books for the book haul that i have promised i was waiting on a couple of books that ended up getting mixed up like the address got mixed up for book depository again um i have no clue why the address keeps getting like it's not that it keeps getting mixed up but it's just like a key detail keeps getting left out and i don't understand why but either way i have the books now and so now i'm gonna do my book haul um majority of the books that i have in this haul are books that you guys have already seen or books i've already read however um i have been wanting to do this book haul since june but i wanted to do it with a great amount of books i think i'm going to start with books that i got way back in june so to start off first um I have Kiki's Delivery Service The Picture Book by um, Hayao Miyazaki and I read this in June um, when I created that short list after no in July I mean oh god I read this in July after I created that short list because of June but I got this in June and you guys saw that in my June reading vlog um, yeah absolutely enjoyed this I gave it five out of five stars I think that it is definitely a um, just very similar to the movie I would say there's a little more detail in here not to like a really in-depth extent but there's a little bit more detail in here a lot more explaining the movie is more aesthetically pleasing so yeah I also got in June For the Wolf by Hannah Witten and I have read this book already in July and I absolutely enjoy well August what am I saying I read this in August oh my gosh am I forgetting stuff but yeah I absolutely enjoyed this I gave it five out of five stars as I said in my wrap up which you guys will see, see soon um, I didn't entirely connect with it on an emotional level however it's still a very great story i was like literally intrigued the whole time um so yeah i also got horrid by katrina leno and i read this in july and i absolutely enjoyed this also this is a villain origin story horror um mystery piece and it is so dark so gorgeous um and it is not lovely because it is a villain origin story and it's very dark but um the writing is lovely the literary elements that are scattered within this is very lovely a lot of very famous mystery and thriller authors are mentioned in this book and i even got some recommendations that i haven't picked up from certain authors that i really love um so i absolutely adore horrid i think it's very much living up to the hype that it gets um so yeah I don't know if I mentioned, but I gave that five out of five stars. And then I also got the Owl Crate edition of Which is Steeped in Gold. I didn't entirely dislike this book. I gave it three out of five stars. I think like 3.5 out of five stars. Um, but the thing is, I think this is a very good start for Sienna and Smart. I think that the second book in the series probably, probably will redeem this book. I think the patois dialect is a little off for me however the storyline feels a little underdeveloped and maybe the second book will be a little more polished however i will say this is a pretty good fantasy book in my opinion and i can't say i hate it but i can't say i love it. i just think it's a really good time i think this world that is being built is very interesting um i just don't see it as um excellent yet i think this um this world this fantasy world has a long way to go before it is polished in my opinion um still a very good book though and then i also got fangs by sarah anderson and i absolutely adore this graphic novel it is a love story between a werewolf and a vampire and honestly i think this is being highly talked about all over booktube i think that overall this is amazing this is very light-hearted very beautiful very nice 
honestly the sprayed edges are oh to die for recently i purchased the ones we were meant to find by joanne he i am currently reading this it is a sci-fi adventurous book and we're reading a story about two sisters who are trying to find each other one is abandoned on an island the other is just missing missing the other sister and basically we're following their journey as they find each other again and so far it's very beautiful very interesting i wouldn't say it's like super bad or super good yet can't really grasp that at the moment i'm only at page 15 so i would have to say that currently i'm interested and i hope it turns out to be really good um sci-fi is my thing so i really don't want to be disappointed with this one because this is going to be the second sci-fi book i've read this year and i'm just hoping it doesn't flop because sci-fi is literally a hit or miss for some people for me it's a hit um but when it comes to movies and tv shows i don't know if sci-fi books is entirely going to be my favorite thing especially like comics and stuff i love sci-fi but like i don't know if sci-fi books is going to be my thing so i hope this doesn't flop and then i also got at the same time muse of nightmares by laney taylor and i absolutely adore this duology um specifically stranger dreamers since i've already listened to that on audiobook um so far i'm up to page 50 and i'm enjoying it it's definitely very dark very sinister at the moment because we're going back into the past we're processing what um happened at the end of strange the dreamer and how that's impacting everyone now um yeah i'm absolutely in love with the optimism of certain characters like laszlo and um sparrow and it's just really gorgeous and i love the lyrical writing i think that is like literally one of the key elements that I love about these two books and I I can't wait to get further in this and finish it I'm ex I'm excited I'm so excited to get through this duology and probably reread it again when I get a physical copy of strange the dreamer and I also got a few book of the month books so first I have we are the Brennans by Tracy Lang I think this was for the July book of the month and i haven't read it yet but i am definitely interested i believe this is a thriller and it is about a catholic family torn apart by secrets um yeah it just deals with religion and it's a thriller oh oh no i think it's one of the characters comes back home and then all of these things unfold the shame um a family falling apart all of that so i'm excited to get into this i want to know what's gonna go on um yeah i don't know i don't think th i think this is contemporary i think i'm getting the genre wrong don't listen to me until i get the right genre um yes yeah, either contemporary or thriller i can't remember uh but yeah that was july and then for august i got the inheritance of orcadilla divina and i am reading well backtrack by zoraida cordova and i am reading this for this month um kind of excited not gonna lie because there's so much hype around this book a lot of people love this book um and honestly i am a big fan of you know like when family members like the trope where when family members leave like a um a will and then they have people like let's say oh you have to get married like for romance books oh you have to get married that is my last request or you know you have to at least try to be engaged for a year or something like that but that's like for romance books or for like sci-fi or fantasy where they inherit their um, parents powers and all that stuff like um which is deep in gold had a little bit of that trope where if the parent died the child gets the powers so this has something similar to that um after the funeral there is this unleashing of information about the true powers of this family and so it's a journey from the funeral until they fully understand who they are and their background and i'm excited to get into this this is one of my favorite tropes like i'm not saying i love death but um 
and maybe goth and a little emo but um not even little i was emo before i was goth but anyways i may be those things but um not saying i love death it's just that i like the way authors develop stories around like um wills and inheritance so excited to get into this and the final book i have for the book of the month books i have is the love hypothesis and i recently got this this was the september book of the month and this is by ali hazelwood and it's a fake relationship between scientists and one of them has all these plans but they get backtracked by love and i'm excited to get into this i love the fake dating trope i love anything that has to do with science i love science um so yeah i'm excited to see how they're going to like you know probably bring scientific terminology in here and how their relationship is going to be nerds falling in love is literally the cutest thing ever um especially when one of the nerds is a little cool you know he's a he's a little skater boy she said see you later boy you know type of vibes um <laughs> i i kind of I'm ready I'm ready and then I have the four books that I have ordered from book depository that have finally come and the first one is the poppy war by RF Kuang and honestly this is something I have been dying to get for so long because of Jamie's library um, she has been like one of the biggest advocates for this book like literally I think that if rf kwong wants somebody to literally advertise this book jamie should be hired because i have not seen anybody else talk so heavily and so like lovingly about this book besides her and this is a um fantasy like a dark fantasy about war and i believe there's romance and it's taking place in asia and there's a little bit of asian history within this i'm excited to see what goes on in here there's parallels with modern chinese history and there's just it just sounds like it's going to be amazing i don't know how it's gonna affect me emotionally because i've heard a lot of trigger warnings and like murder death um mental health and a few other like there's multiple trigger warnings for this whole series um but yeah i'm excited to get into this and i really 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 want to read it i think i'm gonna read this in october we'll see and then another book i picked up because of it being popular on booktube is the cruel prince by holly black and i am definitely excited to get into this this is a well-known series on booktube the wicked king and all that and now i'm kind of intrigued because uh jamie gave it a not too bad review so i'm like hmm maybe i should give it a try so i'm gonna try to dive into this there's jude and cardin i heard a lot of people love cardin and a lot of people don't so i'm kind of interested yeah this is just gonna be a really interesting like fantasy moment and i'm excited to get into it so yeah sorry if the lights are going in and out i don't want to use my ring light because it's too bright and it shines into my glasses and it's it's weird sometimes so yeah i'm using my ceiling like light and it's just it's being weird every time i put a book near my face like hello you guys already saw what the next book is and that is six of crows by um leah bardugo and i am reading the shadow and bone book this month um and then i'll see if i want to read the other two books in the little like triptych but i'm definitely excited to get into this duology oh my gosh this special edition is blowing my mind the character art in the back is gorgeous i love the way the maps look with the red and the black i'm excited to read this and the foiling oof like hello the sprayed edges yup and you guys already know my favorite color combo and i think i've said this like a thousand times is red and black and purple 
oh if you guys don't already know six of crows is following an edge um has and jesper and a few other individuals but those are the main like focuses of this book those three as they try to pull off this heist yep i'm ready i'm ready and of course i had to get crooked kingdom oh what was that the way the blue y'all see that that's the blue from the power light on my thing but it looks so gorgeous if this had like a holographic moment yo that would eat i have crooked kingdom by leah bardugo and i got the special edition of course and yep got the black sprayed edges oh no it's a little scratched up but that's okay um and of course it's gold and black so i got this special edition that has these beautiful details and of course there's also character art in the back of this one too and they're both signed because they are the special like the collector's edition special edition and i i am obsessed i think if i love this duology as much as i am loving strange the dreamers duology i might have to collect more versions of both of them and just spend so much money on those two books because i am insane um honestly i am living out 13 not even i am living out nine year old me's dream you know how many books i wanted to collect there was a time when junie b jones was literally my obsession and cam jensen um and the laura olympus like books the greek mythology like little books and those fairy books i showed you guys in my um booktube newbie tag um oh my gosh goosebumps there was a time when i really wanted to collect all the goosebumps books and i'm really living out nine year old 11 year old 13 16 year old me's dream of having all these comics and fantasy books and horror books like as i should like you know how long i wanted to collect the hobbit series like i still want to collect it i saw this really pretty edition on instagram the other day oof but yeah that is the conclusion of my book haul do a lot of people feel weird when they look back at their books and see how much books they have bought so far because right now i'm looking and i'm like what the hell is wrong with me but then again i'm just like you know what i'm gonna read all of these so i'm not even bothered thank you guys so much for watching i have all my social media links down below twitter instagram storygraph goodreads um i even have my spotify i also have a google doc down below with links to support stop asian hate and black lives matter i also have a donation section down below to donate to india and vietnam for the COVID-19 crisis that they're going through. Um, I also leave the book names down below if you guys wanna check them out. I will also be leaving the links to where I found them. I think that's very helpful because a lot of these books I've bought off of Book Depository or Amazon. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.